Oh, what's not fake? I know, this heat, oh, it's horrible. <laughs> we got an excessive heat warning extended till nine o'clock. Here's why it could feel like it's up to 115 degrees between now and that time. It covers all of East Texas. The impacts here, significant increase in potential for heat illness. Let's not forget that. Three things to know. Stay hydrated, drink water. Two, stay hydrated, drink water. Three, stay hydrated, drink water. Really, that is about the bottom line of this. Heat exhaustion compared to heat stroke. Let's talk about it. One of these, you feel faint or dizzy. The other shirt getting a, fro a throbbing headache. One, you stop sweating. One, you've got red hot, dry skin. Skin, a rapid strong pulse increases when you're starting to suffer heat stroke and you may lose consciousness, which means you need to call 911. But these are also pretty serious in their own rights. That heat exhaustion, you need to get to an air conditioned place, drink water if conscious, take a cool shower, use a cold complex, compress. Tomorrow, uh, we're looking, it looks like it's going to be a little bit, and I stress the word a little bit cooler. Uh, temperatures will still feel like they're about 85 in the morning and then tomorrow afternoon it'll feel like it's about 100 to 108. So we'll likely get another heat advisory tomorrow. But can we get any thunderstorms? We've had a few today. In fact, one still in the southeastern Sabine County. I am watching this complex up here behind the banner. Tomorrow that'll start to drop to the south and toward the area. And so by the time we get to about nine o'clock in the morning, we have that little shower thunderstorms that run by maybe an isolated thunderstorm. And then we get into the afternoon and we're right back up there to about 94 or 95 degrees. Then Thursday, another thunderstorm complex makes a run at us, but it likely stays west of I-45. And then a couple of isolated scattered showers, thunderstorms Thursday afternoon, but slightly cooler. The upper level high that's producing all this heat retreats just a little bit to ease the heat as we head toward the end of the week. So Friday, with a chance of morning thunderstorms, we could stay below 90 degrees at Longview and at Tyler, Nacogdoches and Lufkin and over parts of Deep East Texas around 90. Mid 90s though by Saturday, we are boosting the heat back here to the upper 90s by Sunday with full sunshine. That can be dangerous because when you're working outside in sunshine and the air temperature is 105, it feels like, or if it's a 95, it should say, it feels like it's 105 to you. All right, partly cloudy stray shower tonight, isolated thunderstorm late, otherwise 78 for the overnight low, just not getting much in the way of relief overnight. Here's your Bill of Scott White, Texas Spine Joint Hospital 7-day forecast. Remember, first day of summer tomorrow, 958 a.m. is when it arrives. A period of heavy thunderstorms for some of us, most likely our western counties. We'll keep an eye on it. Just a little diversion to the to the to the east, and they'll be here. 94 for the high otherwise. Isolated thunderstorms Thursday, Friday early looks likely and cooler, and then the heat turns up Saturday, Sunday, then Monday. We've got a hot summer day in place with highs in the upper 80s.